to put software in a safety critical context based on ISO 26262 is you need to have a coding standard for whatever language you're using. And what we had found when we started talking to you know members that were joining the consortium is that kind of people were building their own standards and like, that's okay, right? Like that's, you know, get the work done. Okay. But now that we have this consortium, can we do this in a collaborative manner? Can we do it in the open so that we can all benefit? And so in addition to leading the consortium, I also am chair of the coding guidelines subcommittee. And so this is a group that is focused entirely on shipping an artifact that can be used by say an automotive company or an aerospace company, they can bring their software together uh, in a bundle with uh, these coding guidelines and they can say, hey, yeah, we follow these coding guidelines with this software. So therefore you safety assessor should closely look at this. And then if you think it's okay, then great safety certify.